Hi friends, welcome back to the channel Sidekicker. In this one, I'm going to order the Badgerons Mobile Game 90 FPS drop test in the Poco F3 GT device. Yes, friends, right now I'm trying to play the Poco F3 GT using this Badgerons Mobile Game at 90 FPS. So you'll be able to see exactly which is a 1.7.0 version which I did uh, install at this moment. Let me try to show you the version. So, app info as you can clearly see, friends, 1.7.0. So let me to open and by default we don't get any kind of 90 fps no by default it's not enabled you need to use the gfx 2.config file to get this kind of support and right now there are a couple of uh, config files available i'll try to share in my telegram group so make sure to uh, follow my telegram channel so which will be available in the about section and try to click on the telegram link then you can actually join in my telegram group as well there i'll try to update the file which is required for the config file or maybe gfx file and right now I'll, I just want to show you how is the new PUBG version is able to handle FPS it's kind of handling very good or not in terms of the 90 FPS so finally the POCO of the GT has got really good update with the latest version where you can actually get the ultra, ultra HD working as well in the POCO F3 GT that's one fantastic option which we do have at this moment in the POCO F3 GT ultra HD and HDR and extreme settings except 90 FPS everything has been unlocked in the POCO F3 GT except 90 FPS so right now I'm trying to play the team that match and here you will be able to see exactly what is happening with the real time FPS meter now it's kind of maintaining the real time FPS meter as you can see friends So overall it was able to maintain a really good FPS meter without any kind of problem. As you can see friends clearly we are getting about uh, exactly 1989 FPS not bad regarding the FPS meter it's kind of maintaining really good. As you can see friends not bad so even the trigger is also working fantastic no issues. As you can see, this overall it was able to maintain really good and temperature slightly kind of increasing. As you can see, this overall it was able to maintain really good FPS meter. So 30 and very close call right at this moment regarding the team that match. Let's see if Poco F3 GT can do can it do any kind of difference or not. 35 and 33. So 39 and 34 not bad so as you can see friends fps it's maintaining really good throughout this time no issues so finally kill finished so 17 finishes this time it's not bad so let's go to the normal drop test which i'll try to do from the wrangle map so right now as you can see friends i'm trying to do the boot boot cam drop test exactly so using 90 fps in the poco f3 gt Let's see how well the phone can be able to handle some kind of game plan. During this time, definitely the temperature is slightly kind of increasing. Even with the 90 FPS, you can see it went up to 37 degrees Celsius on the back side, 35.8 degrees Celsius. It's kind of very high. So again, I'll be back when the when I'm dropping. So right now, as you can see, friends, I'm trying to do the exact drop test. Let's see what happens with the boot camp, how much FPS the phone will maintain. But definitely the POCO F3 GT I did try the previously a lot of uh, times 90 FPS file and phone was able to handle really good so without much problem so lowest FPS we did see about 70 FPS 
But the phone was doesn't matter what kind of battery percentage level it is, 100 percentage or maybe 10 percentage, 20 percentage. The phone was able to uh, perform really good. So irrespective of the battery level, so you don't need to worry about the battery level. Only few phones will be able to uh, deliver this kind of output, friends. That's the reason. If you think my battery is slightly kind of low, yes, I did do the wanted list kind of testing as well, just to check how, how the phone is actually performing. As you can see right now, the phone was able to perform really good. Overall, it was able to maintain 80 and 90 and 90 FPS toward the time as you can see friends clearly. So this is the second time continuously I am trying to do the drop test and the right now the temperature has reached about 38 degrees Celsius which is showing in the thermometer at this moment. Again I will try to show you the actual temperature readings in the settings application as well. There we will be able to see slightly more details regarding the temperatures how the phone is actually maintaining inside the settings so right now as you can see the fps drop is about close to 90 and 88 fps we are getting in the fps meter 86 fps 89 not bad eighty-five, seventy-seven as well so already did see about close to 77 fps right so during this time of drop test, not bad. In order it was able to maintain 89 and 80 fps towards the time as you can see it's maintaining that's it friends thank you for watching this video and i'll try to show you the, exactly the temperatures what uh, the phone is actually maintaining the temperatures as well at this moment of playing the 90 fps So let me to exit and go to the settings exactly as you can see within the settings it's showing about 40 degrees celsius 40 degrees yes so in the settings it shows 40 degrees but actual temperature is about 38.6 degrees celsius so there will be a difference of 1.5 degrees to the actual settings what the phone has been showing so this friends is a quick uh, 90 fps battery on mobile gameplay test in the poco f3 gt and straight of more updates definitely i'll try to do this kind of 90 fps test in other device as well so meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching until then bye